Good evening, everybody. It is the night before the big race, and man, this has been, it's been a long day. Uh, took the red eye out here, and I've just been kind of battling all day. Stomach's not been feeling great, obviously tired. It's 8 o'clock right now. I'm going to be racing at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get to bed in the next hour or so. And I'm just finishing up uh, the last kind of little bits of uh, preparation and such. Yeah, we're in Atlantic City. Interesting spot. And we're on the Jersey Shore. And hopefully tomorrow I'll feel refreshed and ready to go. So yeah, wish me luck. So now is the time that... I tell you guys that I'm going to be shaving my arms and legs. This is the first time I've ever done it. It's going to be a little weird. Um, but I guess if I'm all in, I'm, I'm all in. So let's get a little shaving in. All right, the arms. So I got... I got up to about right here, up the, above the kneecap a little bit, on both legs. Before it um, it completely ran out of batteries, so, um, but I wear shorts anyways, so, you know, good enough for the first time. You know, not the best shave, but, you know, can't complain, so, onwards. All right, guys, so I am back from the age group national triathlon in Atlantic City, New Jersey. So let's talk about how it went for me. So right off the bat, you know, I, I am really happy with how things went for me uh, in terms of my performance, of course. And let me just give you the data right off the bat here. We're going to start with the swim. All right, swim started off a little delayed, about 15 minutes delayed. It was a foggy morning, and I rolled out at around 7.30 a.m., and the swim was good, a good swim. I swam about a minute faster than I've ever swam before, which means that my open water swimming practice has really paid off for me. I've been going to the ocean about once a week to do some open water swimming practice and it has really made me feel more comfortable in the water and I swam a 23-23 for the 1500 meter swim which is almost is about 50 seconds faster than I have swam before and if I were to do something different on this swim I would have gotten a better position on the start line. I decided to line up a uh, second row instead of being right on the starting line, which proved to be a pretty big mistake um, kind of for my long-term positioning because I just had to battle for position. And there was just so many bodies, you know, and... It would just made things a lot more difficult to get into more open, clear water. So maybe the first three, four hundred meters were pretty congested, and I think if I would have had the better foresight, I could have gone a little faster. We finished the swim, and about halfway through the swim, once I finally got to open water, I started to see a group ahead of me, and I thought I was gonna be able to bridge, but they were just a little bit too far away and I was not speeding up. I knew that there were obviously people in front of me. I didn't know how much, pe how many people, but I got off the swim, I ran into transition and I hopped on my bike. And the bike is where you make the most improvement. It's where you can lose the most time as well. This year I had practiced a lot and I had gotten new gear for my bike, new wheels on my bike, and a better position on my bike. 
new saddle, you know, just general stuff like that. But stupidly enough, I had forgotten some of my nutrition for the bike. I had to grab something from a table. It didn't prove to be too much of an issue, but maybe could have gone a little bit faster if I had a little bit more carbohydrates. I think my legs were starting to fatigue a little bit towards the end, but we had a nice steady uh, crosswind going one direction, I believe going out and we had a nice tailwind uh, coming back uh, towards transition. It was two loops, we did them both and passed a couple people. Then uh, I was again by myself for a long time and somebody finally bridged up to me and I worked with him for a little bit. Um, worked with him, I mean, I followed him. Um, obviously, you know, didn't draft or anything. Then I passed him with a couple miles left to go and got into transition. So I was excited to get on the run. I didn't really know exactly where I was in my wave start, but I felt pretty good still. And I was within, you know, still pushing threshold effort for, for, the, for the bike. And so I get out onto the run and I'm conscious because sometimes I know that you can go out a little bit too fast on the run and um, you kind of got to build into it, let your body adjust, kind of let, let things settle a little bit. You don't want to get a cramp right off the bat. I take in some, a little bit more nutrition at the beginning of the run, a little bit of water, and I'm out. And this was, uh, this was a really flat course in general. Bike was really flat. The run was really flat. We ran to this boardwalk. We're running up and down, just straight lines out and back and so I start passing a couple people here and there it's a little warm but it's not too bad and on the way back I'm thinking all right it's time to really push it it's time to really push it uh, you know obviously you're hurting on the run at this point because this is where this is where everything culminates and this is where you're finishing so I'm like I'm ready to just push it on the run here I start heading out on the run and I'm, I think I'm running about 5 30s uh, on the way out maybe a little bit sub 530 pace on the way out and then I start blasting it on the way back like a 515 mile I hit and then I'm really pushing it I caught I caught a couple more people that I saw in the distance that were running pretty fast and, and then I started to feel like I'm gonna throw up a little my like, all right I should back off a little bit and I back off a little bit and then towards about 1k to go I'm just like all right whatever let's just go and I try to push it with all the energy I have left and you know just steady sprint to the line and I finish my second ever age group national triathlon in the Olympic distance the first time I did it in the Olympic distance last year I did it in the sprint distance and I completed it I got fifth place in my age group age 20 to 24 and I got 28th overall huge improvement on my overall times uh, my previous best time uh, on an Olympic distance was about a 210 and so I just did a 202 uh, triathlon and you know I, I can't say that I walked away unhappy you know I'm actually really really happy with how this with how this experience went and how I felt I flew all the way to the East Coast from California uh, red-eye flight one day next day race and my lead up i was sick i wasn't feeling good i had some health issues i couldn't train for over a month two months just pretty much just not really doing much and i finally was able to put in a really solid month in august i put in a really solid month in august and i just did as best as i could and of course i know that i i feel like i can do more and i want to do more and so I'm going to continue to try to train at the highest level that I can because if I can chop down eight minutes, you know, I know that it's probably, um, you know, you're going to cut off a lot of time in the beginning and then it's going to be a little bit slower, but efficiency is so important and that's what I've learned. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy. Hopefully, 
I will be able to do at least one more race before the year is over, before the season is over. I haven't really been able to race that much this year. I was hoping to do more triathlons. It's just triathlon is a really expensive sport. It's hard to find any local triathlons. Uh, <clears throat> and, and so we'll see. I've only done, this is my third. This is my third triathlon. This was the one I was training for for the whole year so far. And, you know, maybe I'll do one in November or something. And then we'll wrap it up. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to continue to try to do some more fun content in the future. So thanks.